Yo, what is good YouTube? Yeah, boy Alexandros here guys and today as you can see by the title and by the thumbnail we have a new interview for you so I hope that you will like it in today's video we will be interviewing Steven Ward from Vi Finance guys uh, you will see the interview in a second but just before we jump into it I just wanted to you know show you briefly uh, the website of course the link is down below uh, you can also get their tokens if you want which are selling out quite fast and the actual sale is ending in two days uh, so that's also something worth mentioning they are on cardano so that's something uh, quite unique on my channel so i hope that you will be uh, enjoying the video uh, big shout out to steven again uh, thanks to him for being interested in participating on the interview uh, and what else guys uh, yeah, I think you will see all the all the rest informations in the video itself because I've been going around the website, white paper, the documents, all that kind of interesting stuff. Uh, and you also have Steven's uh, voice in the background. So yeah, enjoy the video, guys. And thank you so much for tuning in. Hello, guys. We are here with the CEO of uh, Y Finance. So you can introduce yourself and let the viewers know who you are and where are you from. So hi hi guys i'm steven uh director of i finance and i'm from australia <laughs> <laughs> that's great so what Coming is at you fresh. yeah so what is wi-fi and how its ecosystem is different from the other projects and platforms that we are currently seeing you know on on the crypto space yeah absolutely so our um project is different in a few ways we've first of all we have a dex of course um similar if you could imagine like Pancake or Uniswap or SushiSwap. Um, we've also implemented a bar mechanism, which is similar to that of SushiSwap, um, as well as an auto harvester. Now our auto harvester is going to be our principal on-ramp for new users of DeFi, where we're going to help De uh, new users learn how to interact with the systems step-by-step -step and slowly navigate them down through to the decentralized exchange. And we're going to do that by integrating a learning management system. So literally lessons on how to use these tools built into the actual platform. So there's quite a few things that makes us different from just standard projects that you see in the DeFi space. Yeah. All right. So you have some quite cool features here as this auto harvester that obviously we will talk mm -hmm. about uh, as well. Uh, I have some questions mm -hmm. regarding it, but I wanted to ask what are your favorite features of, of the project itself and what do they do? Like, you know, you can explain some of mm -hmm. your favorite ones. I will bring up the document uh, and yeah. Yeah, absolutely. So I would say my favorite is um, our integration of a neural net and how we're using a neural net um, to help us with the auto harvester. So essentially when new users begin to interact with DeFi, there's a lot of risks and a lot of pains that come alongside that, as I'm sure we've all experienced. And when we take that, uh, what we're trying to do is we're trying to take that pain at the beginning as much away from new users as possible by introducing them to farming using a system, which is our AI, our neural net, which essentially takes care of those heavier risks for them. Now, that AI is training itself on how to best manage farm across liquidity pools on the Cardano ecosystem. And then all users would have to do is deposit that ADA and then let our AI deal with that farming and harvesting for them. Okay. So that's certainly one of my favorites. Uh, and I would say my next favorite, I just got excited and explained what it was. <laughs> and I would say my next favorite is, um, is the LMS because we're very much uh, in tune with wanting to help new users actually learn how to use these systems because these systems are there to help people but they can be complex okay so you guys run on cardano okay that that's what yeah. you just said right so yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so why cardano i mean was the hype kind of around cardano pushed you to to make it on cardano no. or there is some other reasoning behind it so yeah there are many reasonings behind it uh actually we were initially going to be an ethereum project and then we made the decision to move about eight months ago um and what really made that decision for me was the fact that we want to be focused on bringing new users into the DeFi space and the philosophy that goes around cardano the way that they're trying to implement and market to those third world countries in africa southeast asia south america uh, and bring those new users into crypto uh, we thought really fostered the perfect ground for us to try and actually show those new users how to interact with these systems so it was more of a meeting of philosophy in the minds between the blockchains more than anything else like the blockchain and the project 
Okay, that's amazing. Yeah, Cardano is really interesting, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, it is. It's absolutely fascinating. <laughs> uh, so I wanted to also ask about the team because that's quite important, right? When you have the project, yeah, you need to have the team. So uh, how many people mm -hmm. are on the team? Are there any plans to expand the team? You can maybe introduce mm -hmm. some of them, like briefly at least, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So um, there's, of course, myself. I'm an ex-hedge fund trader, and then I've worked my way in finance for six years. Um, done various roles throughout it as a financial advisory and investments and then here i am trading crypto since 2017. um we've got ourselves my let's start with the engineering team so on the engineering side we have um we are working with a consultancy in silicon valley we have five full-time engineers through themselves uh, and they're our haskell devs uh, we actually want to do an AMA with them in the coming weeks. So we are actually going to add them to our site. They're not on our site right now because they were consultants, but we're going to add them proper. Uh, then there is Ryan Feltkamp. Ryan Feltkamp is our principal uh, front-end designer. He is an ex-engineer with American Express, uh, Master's of Software Engineering. My father uh, is designing the neural net. My father had a has a consultancy called Propeller AI where he works with uh, basically the interaction intersection between AI and property markets and he builds neural nets for trading property markets essentially all right um then we've got oh there's so many more the total team is 15. yeah there is a lot of people um and the team is looking to expand right uh we are actually adding another engineer to the team because we really want to get the best product possible and with the recent launch that we've had we've got the opportunity to add another probably two engineers in total amazing okay yeah because i see that you have eight people listed in the team section but as you said you will be adding them so so that's cool yeah mm, i'm currently in the white paper on page number five which is current issues within defi and now i have yeah. maybe like easy question but you know how is wi-fi better than other DeFi's? like well easy yeah. as that, okay <laughs> yeah absolutely um, look, we're better. The way that we're aiming to be better is really in the way that we're creating a structured approach for new users to interact with DeFi. Uh, we want to make the on ramping system as simple and easy as possible and result in as little loss to funds as possible. It's to me, it's always been a strange concept, particularly in the Cardano ecosystem, but in any, any crypto ecosystem where we're trying to hit new markets in, let's say, Africa. These people have never even had a deposit account. Now, to think that people that have never even held a deposit account are going to have the financial literacy to be able to come on and suddenly use these high degree, high com high complexity tools that you're offered in DeFi is a big stretch, right? So we're really looking to bridge that gap for those users, as well as providing all the tools that the advanced users need to be able to do liquidity mining and manage all their positions. Amazing. Uh, so you also been talking about the auto harvester which is pretty cool mm -hmm. in my opinion pretty cool and uh, the ai mm -hmm. aspect so well you kind of explained what it is already but i have a question which is what is the auto Please. harvester and <laughs> if you could say more about it it would be pretty cool yeah 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 of course look the auto harvester is really supposed to be a place where people who don't have the time energy or knowledge to be able to manage multiple positions across DeFi can put their ada and just let it sort of work for them Right, so you engage with the auto harvester by just depositing your ADA and then in the background, our AI manages that and finds the best positions depending on what risk levels you want. So if you want to have a low risk strategy, there will be a low risk, medium risk, high risk, absolute DeFi degen option. <laughs> Take your pick. Um, and then from there, it's mostly designed to bring people onto the systems and then give them access to our learning management system. So if anyone who's got access to the auto harvester will have access to the learning management system. By the way, I would like to put a little bit of time frames on this because not all of this is going to be available on launch. Um, we're going to be launching with our decks um, looking towards November, uh, sorry, October, uh, mid to late October. Then we're looking to launch with our decks and our bar. So that's the distributive mechanism for our token. Then we're looking to add the auto harvester in the next six months. And then the learning management system will be coming on board after that. So in total, to get our whole ecosystem running, we're looking at somewhere between eight months to a year. 
All right. So also you are using a neural net, if I understand mm -hmm. everything correctly. And can you explain mm -hmm. what this is and how it's going to be used in ecosystem? Yeah, of course. Uh, so the neural net is essentially our AI machine. Uh, a neural net is actually named after the brain, hence neural. And it uses a very similar system to how your brain learns, where essentially you give it a result that you want it to reach and it finds the most optimal path to arrive at that result. Much like when you're learning how to speak and your brain is trying to connect your neurons and it's finding the most optimal path to be able to produce that word. Um, we, the inputs that we're giving it, essentially, we're saying that we want to find the best yield against certain risk levels. So we want low risk, what's the best yield we can find on the Cardano ecosystem with low risk. Medium risk, what's the best yield we can find on the Cardano ecosystem with medium risk. Um, and then that's going to be the brain of our auto harvester. It essentially is going to be, imagine you've got the auto harvester, which is the machine that runs all the farming for people. And then the neural net is the brain that works out the best place to put it. Okay. I see. All right, Steven. So does your token have any kind of profit sharing mechanism? This is a really interesting question to me and maybe to the viewers as well. So that's what I wanted to ask too. Yeah, of course. Uh, look, we have a profit share mechanism called the bar, where essentially users will deposit their Wi-Fi and they share in a percentage of the profits that are earned across the entire ecosystem. So that includes the DEX, 0.05% uh, of all trades go to the bar. And it also includes our auto harvester, where 15% of the harvest that's farmed will go to the bar. Um, this is going to create, because the bar is where you deposit Wi-Fi, right, which is our token, and you're paid out in Wi-Fi. And that's because we take all the profit that we earn from across the ecosystem and convert it to Wi-Fi to pay it to people that are staked at the bar. So this also creates a continual upwards pressure on our token because we're using income that's generated from providing a service to buy our own token. So it gives a dual, uh, it gives a dual strength. First, it gives a second layer where once you farmed our token, you can deposit it somewhere to earn more income. And it also gives us a continual upwards buying pressure on our token through our distribution of fees and income. Okay, I see that in tokenomics as well. So that's yep. nice. Uh, well, question now regarding the, the sale, okay? Because, you yep. know, uh, I'm on the buy page and Favorite I bit. see that you, <laughs> that you sold out quite a lot of tokens, okay? So, yeah. well, easy question again. Are you satisfied with your current community members, how the community is growing? And are you satisfied with the sale progress, which I think you should be, okay? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm absolutely, I'm absolutely flabbergasted by the community. They're fantastic. They've really gotten behind the, um, the project. I think the the ideas really ring true to a lot of people because a lot of people have had that experience of you know finding out finding that there's no one there to help them when they're first engaging with these systems and engaging with DeFi. Uh, so because it's a story that rings true, I think it's a story that a lot of people support and can get behind because it's just one that is a real problem that exists. Um, and with respect to the sale, mate, like I am just shocked. I would have been happy if we sold half. Uh -huh. Personally, that was my initial aim. Um, and we haven't even finished yet, and it looks like we might actually sell out. We're at, what, five, almost 5.1 million. Yeah, like, it looks like you will sell it out, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, it's <laughs> absolutely crazy. So, thank you so much for the support, everybody. It's been a wild, wild ride. Mental week. That's amazing. Week and a half. <laughs> and if you guys want to purchase, you know where to do it. Link down below. <laughs> you already know. Link shameless plug. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shameless plug. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Uh, so to wrap the things up, you can also let us know uh, what exchanges you will be aiming to get listed on and that's where we can be ending this beautiful interview. Yeah, absolutely. And the at the moment, Cardano um, tokens are a little bit... There aren't many exchanges that offer Cardano native tokens to actually be listed on. Uh, but what's really interesting is that we have pretty good information that we think that we're going to have um oh q coin are they called yeah, i believe yeah. it's q coin yeah 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 q coin is going to be listing uh they think they're going to be listing um the cnt's cut on native tokens sometime in october 
Oh, okay. That's good. And sorry, I made a mistake. I knew it was wrong. It's not Qcoin. It's Huobi. Oh, Huobi. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Huobi. My mistake. I, I knew it was wrong when I said it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no worries. So, no worries. so I would say that at the moment, the best bet would be that would be listed on Huobi sometime in October. Okay. Sometime in October. But that is, but that is a bet. That is not a, uh, mm -hmm. that is not a statement of fact. Okay. Yeah, I see. But, well, if you manage to do it, then it's kind of soon. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, it's not long. So yeah, thank you so much for you know replying to all of those questions. I hope that people will check you guys out because that project really looks good to me. Okay, and especially with the progress that you are making, uh, yeah. it kind of speaks mm -hmm. for itself too. So, uh, so people like you, and and it's amazing to see that there are some projects that are indeed getting developed on on the Cardano, which is you know rising up currently. Mm -hmm. uh, pretty cool. And yeah. Yeah, thank you, you so much for having me, man. It's been an absolute pleasure. I yeah, mean, thank you too, man. And thank you for the listeners. Yeah, thank you guys, and see you in the next videos, as always.